The Across the Bay 10K is a huge event that requires a lot of planning and logistics. Today we're going to get the opportunity to talk to some of the planners and get more details on this amazing event. When I was brought in, I thought, how difficult can this be because it's a 10K road race over a bridge that's 4.5 miles long, so pretty simple, right? Can't get lost. And then I realized, whoa, where's everyone going to park and how are they going to get to the start and how are they going to get back from the finish back to where they parked? And so it really is sort of a transportation challenge with a road race thrown in the middle of it. Um, so what we've arranged is parking on both sides, both shores, three particular locations on one side, three on the other. They identify in advance um, where they're going to park. We send equipment there pick them up there and we bring them to the start. And we're trying to do it in an organized fashion based on ability level and what their expected pace is. So it's all done in a very uh, sophisticated manner. This race is about two things, real estate, a lack of, and uh, amount of time. So we only have so much time to be on that bridge and we only have so much space to work with. On the morning of the event, we'll be closing the bridge um, about 12.01 a.m. The eastbound span will be closed at that time and we expect it to not reopen until about 2 p.m. when the race is over. Uh, we'll run two-way traffic on the westbound span with one lane, one travel lane in each direction and we'll have the center lane as a buffer lane. Uh, so people should be aware of that, definitely. Um, expect delays. We, you know, we do understand that there's a Ravens game on Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. So definitely plan ahead. Um, do what you can to um, be aware of the travel conditions on the bridge, um, check 1877 base span 229-7726. Um, also check our website at baybridge.com for the current conditions. You can see the tra traffic cameras at that website and also follow us on Twitter at the MDTA. For the Kent Island side, first of all in terms of accessing uh, 50 detours there, uh, the residents should know that they, sh they will still be able to access 50 eastbound off of Route 818 uh, in Stevensville. So they'll be able to come down and, and hit the eastbound US 50 ramp. Unfortunately, the westbound ramp onto US 50 in Kent Island will be closed. So they'll have to access 50 westbound via Duke Street or Castle Marina Way. So from about 5 a.m., until approximately 2 p.m. on Sunday, November 6th. Route 18 north of Main Street between there and Love Point Road will be closed to vehicular traffic and will be detoured over to Love Point Road. Well, this is our third year involved with this event and our emergency planner through the Department of Emergency Services in cooperation with both the MTA and the hospitals, both Anne Arundel Medical Center as well as Shore Regional Health and also our other emergency partners, Anne Arundel Fire, Annapolis City Fire, and our other agencies on the Eastern Shore. We've been planning for this event for over the last six to nine months, and we are well prepared for any type of situation that may occur. We use the uh, social media out aspects of this to help keep in people informed. The race organizers have done an excellent job in providing social media about the r events in the race. If there should be an emergency situation, we would use both social media, Facebook, and we have Everbridge, which is essentially our citizen notification of any type of an emergency. Everbridge can be signed up if you're a resident of Queen Anne County. They can go to the Queen Anne County government site and sign up for Everbridge. Queen Anne's County just really has a wealth of history. Um, it was, you know, one of the first established areas in the nation, and so it's a great place. It's steeped in history, rich history. We have a historical tour that you can go on, historic sites to visit. We would suggest that you come visit the Chesapeake Carriage and Visitor Center down at the Kent Narrows. We have lots of waterfront restaurants and trails, lots of places to go, things to do, people to see. For even more information on this event, you can visit bridgerace.com. In Annapolis, Mallory Drummond, QAC-TV.